Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. This is a collection of videos or clips um, or images that I've taken while I was in Japan. And this is actually a vending machine of some Disney characters. So you can see here a lot of the Mickey Mouse or Disney characters are featured on this machine. Japan is well known for their vending machines. And we came across this one, which was so cute. You can order um, various different characters or souvenirs from this vending machine and this was in Haneda Airport in Terminal 2. I did notice in the international terminal when we left um, to come back to New York they had the same uh, set of vending machines so it seems to be uh, available in other other areas of the airport uh, but you do have to kind of look around for it and find it on the um, uh, in the terminal but it was really cute and you can see here this is a zoom zoom Mickey Mouse character in a cup of noodle in addition to Disney characters there were also some Pokemon vending machines this one offers various Pokemon cards there are two specific packs that are offered but here you can see they are sold out which was a disappointment but needless to say it is available Here's another Pokemon machine. This sells specific merchandise from plushies to frames to keychains. And so we decided to try and purchase, um, I believe this one is purchasing a frame. Yes, the blue frame for 1200 yen. And it was amazing because it was such a seamless, easy process. You literally get what you pay for. They offer the option to pay by cash or by credit card. And with all machines in Japan, you can choose your language. So if you need to see it in English, you have that ability to see it in English. And the, di the directions are very simple and straightforward. Um, here we chose to pay by credit card because we were actually interested to see the exchange rate that the credit card offers, as opposed to you know when we um, exchanged for cash, you know could be a, a slightly different exchange rate. So once you pay for the item, they have a, a very cute little countdown process for about 10 seconds or so and you see it counting down on the screen and then when the product is ready you see this uh, little gift bag is placed in the um you know the 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 hole where you get the product and out comes the item that you purchased next we did this uh, again this time paying in cash and we decided to get the little sleeping Pikachu plushie. So the cost here you see, you see is 1,650 yen. And again, very easy process. After doing it a couple of times, we didn't even need to translate um, the screen. Uh, but here you see that after it counts down, they magically somehow set it up so they put the product in a gift bag. And each time it's a different color gift bag, which is quite cool. The plushie, it was pretty big and here it is in its glory. Uh, lastly, we did this a third time and my son wanted this uh, kind of, it's like a card holder. It's, it's a frame where you can put a specific like Pokemon card inside and it's a very durable, thick, like acrylic plastic and had uh, some metal feet to allow the, the frame to stand up. And again, here it comes out in a little gift bag with the product inside. I don't know how they managed to do that, but it I think it's pretty cool. There is literally something for everyone here. Um, right next to the machine, there was a pearl sort of gachapon. So I was just curious and wanted to try my luck. I um, put, it was, it was uh, 1000 yen. So I put it in and uh, out came, um, I actually got uh, clip-on pearl earrings, which was quite dainty and cute. So it was just, just for the fun of it. Here are some clips of the round one stadium that we visited round one is an entertainment center that's available all across japan there are actually some in the states now and my kids love going here for their video games and of course the crane games here's just a, a preview of what kind of plushies and prizes are available in the round one 
as of early July 2023. You can see these plushies are very attractive, they're very um, cuddly, so I can understand why a lot of kids really love playing these games and it is very tempting to just put in coin after coin after coin to try and get these prizes. Usually each play in Japan is 100 yen per play and in this case sometimes um, each play could be a little bit more expensive but for the most part it is about 100 yen per play which is a huge price difference from what we have here in the States. Next are some clips from the Sapporo airport in Hokkaido and I wanted to show some of these clips because it really reminds me of my childhood when you were into you know different characters like Hello Kitty, My Melody, uh, my personal favorite is Doraemon and it just brings back a lot of joy and um, seeing all these cute kawaii items that bring so much joy to kids and to adults. Um, here you'll see they have a Doraemon cafe, the food looks so amazing and cute and their merchandise needless to say is just so tempting. I tried to resist, I actually only purchased a mug um, that I felt I could use because I, I want to find things and buy things that I can use instead of having it just displayed somewhere in, in my house. Lastly, you'll see there's a whole section of crane games of Doraemon characters. I know myself, I know if I won some of these, it would just be sitting at home collecting dust. So for me personally, I didn't really care to win any, but it was tempting. Needless to say, my kids really, really wanted to win it for me. Uh, I think they just want to do it because they, they like the process of playing that game and winning it. But we wasted a couple hundred yen and got nothing for it so i prefer just to buy something that i can actually get right away last but not least is the pikachu sweets by pokemon cafe this is a corner um, lot or storefront within sunshine city this is the same location of where the pokemon center the mega center is located in ikebukuru it's an alternative if you're not able to book the pokemon cafe it's not really the same experience but you get to have some cute little uh, desserts and sweets that are pokemon shaped and enjoy some of the decor there uh, I hope you found some of these clips useful, especially if you're into some of these things. You can really find this stuff all over Japan and you'll never get enough of it. If you have any questions about any of these places, please leave me a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it if I can and have a conversation with you. Please stay happy and healthy and I hope to see you in my next video in the future. Thanks and have a great day. Bye!